were here at Fiesta Texas today to be at their fan event. It's called FT92. It's where they announce new rides, what's coming up for Fright Fest, and also other new events that they're having. So we're really excited about that. And also they uh, just started Oktoberfest today. So we're excited to try some of the food there as well. It is hot though, but luckily the announcements are gonna be indoors and we're gonna try to stay indoors as much as possible as well. They already have some booths up, getting ready for Fright Fest. It's about 12.30 now, so we're going to Oktoberfest to get some food. This is one of my favorite spots during Fright Fest. This area will be lit up and they'll be singing. It's actually pretty cool, so we'll have to show you all that. Uh, we're currently in line at the Pretzel House Delights. I'm gonna get the uh, Barbarian Pretzel Sticks because I missed out on getting those last year, so super excited to try them this year. Are you gonna get anything? Yeah, I might get the uh, braised beef and with beer cheese, with beer cheese, bacon. I don't know how to pronounce it. They were missing the register at that booth, so we're gonna see if we can find the uh, sampler package to purchase it and then use it there. Right, we're on a quest now. It is at the start, somewhere near the entrance of the park to get the lanyard, so I'm gonna try and find, oh, I think I just see it. <laughs> it's right over here for anyone that is uh, wondering. Got it. Got the sampler pack, so now we're going back to get some food. And I had the German barbecue ribs. They were pork ribs with a traditional German barbecue sauce. It was super good, um, not too much fat on it. The meat, I should say, kind of, wouldn't say fall off the bone, but they weren't like, there wasn't like hard to pull off. So it was really good. I would totally get it again. of what we have in store for 24. Yeah. We welcome you to the third annual FT92! Hey everyone, we just got a, a FT92. Just really great presentation. Just so much information that they've uh, provided. Um, they announced that they're going to be expanding out their DC uh, Universe area. With they're retheming a lot of, a couple of rides that are already existing and they're retheming them, but then they're adding some more yes. rides. They're adding three new flat rides. One's themed to Cyborg, the other Shazam, and one is a kind of metropolis. It's like a monorail that's gonna take you around the whole DC area, like 20 feet up in the air. Oh, it sounds so fun. But we're gonna take some time and digest all this information, and we might come back here in a little bit when we get home and share more information. But for now, we're gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> because I am so tired. We have the trains 
on there already. Some steaming happening. I think they got, looks like we have all the panels on as well, light panels. Yeah, the skyscraper is gonna be rethemed to Supergirl. some renovations here on Daredevil Dive. I know one of the wings has kind of been out, seems like the past like year and a half. So hopefully with this, they'll get that resolved. Well, we're pretty hot, getting tired, even though we had coffee. <laughs> but before we head home, we're just gonna grab one last bite to eat from the Oktoberfest. And um, yeah, let's go pick out what we're gonna eat. So for lunch, I got the German meatballs with the white wine caper sauce, which was actually very good. I'm not a fan of capers at all. Um, so I was a little nervous to try it, but it, the white wine sauce sounded really good. So I thought I'd give it a chance, um, but it was actually very good. The caper flavor was not too prominent. It was a nice blend of the capers and the white wine. It was so creamy. The meatballs were delicious. Um, yeah, definitely a 10 out of 10. I might try that again. I had the kielbasa sausage that came with a pretzel bun. It was super delicious. It, um, cause they had a little, uh, was a spicy mustard sauce on it. The kielbasa was super good. Um, along with the pretzel. I finally got a pretzel. That's what I wanted since the last year. Just added extra, I'm not sure if I would say texture, but just, just, uh, just like goodness to it. So, but I would say it's a 10 out of 10. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we're going to go back home now and talk more in depth about FT92 and kind of what all the pre presented. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back. We just got back from FT92. <laughs> we have a little guest here with us, our one of our animals, Pixel. Yes, she's our baby girl. <laughs> we've showered, we've eaten, and now we're ready to talk more about the announcements. So one thing that was mentioned that we're both very excited about is happening pretty soon in like six or seven weeks, middle of October, October 14th to be precise. Um, a solar eclipse is happening in the middle of a day on a Saturday. When it happens, the park is actually going to have a fireworks show in the middle of the day to celebrate the solar eclipse. So we're so excited about that. It's just like a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's the one thing that just really stuck, not the one thing, there's many things that stuck out to us, but we're very excited about that. It's just such a unique experience. Um, on top of that announcement, they've also announced that they are still doing enhancements to the Wonder Woman coaster. They're, they're doing it in two phases. Um, the first phase is going to be more of that mechanical upgrade um, to make it smoother. And then they're going to reopen it to the public and then we can enjoy it for a while. And then I forget when he said this phase two is starting. I think next year phase two will start and they'll actually get new restraints. And so it's supposed to make things a lot easier getting on and off the ride it's supposed to be a lot more comfortable which i'm very excited about because it is very painful currently oh, yeah. the way it is <laughs> i remember the first time i ever rode that coaster when we got off like the next day i had um like markings yeah. down my shoulders you had, like, bruises. Yeah. I, I mean you could feel it we have made this <laughs> a family affair we got now we got weasley here yeah he might he'll, he'll probably jump off of me here in a second yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of family affairs. They also made announcements about Boo Fest, which is a family friendly kind of Halloween activity for um, kids that they have going on during the day. They will have kind of a what's called House of Curiosity, which is, I don't want to say a haunted house, but it's kind of a walkthrough um, family friendly environment for the kids. Yeah. Um, they also have two dance parties, one for like Looney Tunes dance. And uh, then one called Grave Dance Party. 
as well, which is new for this year. In the Rockville area, they have Spooktown, which is a trick-or-treat trail, I believe. From what Jeffrey said, their, their design team has been making set designs for um, around the area, so they're gonna be, uh, I can't remember what, I think they said 1950s motif. Yeah, because Rock Hill High is like a 1950s right. themed high school area. Yeah, and then um, also they will, in the Rockville area, they are going to have a corn maze. It's, I think it's called Little Pumpkins Everywhere. That sounds super fun. <laughs> I want to do that. They're also bringing back a show for Fright Fest. It's called Curse of the Zombie Prom. I believe they started it for the first time last year, but they're bringing it back. And we actually didn't get to see it last year, um, so because we, we were kind of late to the game. <laughs> but uh, we're very excited to see it this year. They did a small preview for us while we were there at the event today, um, but we're excited to see the whole show. And then for Fright Fest, which is probably one of the bigger announcements, one of the announcements that we've been looking forward to. So they're doing what's called the arrival at Crack Axel Canyon, I believe, uh, during Roller Coaster Rodeo. They actually had um, kind of some Fright Fest announcements there as well, and they brought up the um, monsters arrived by train. So, oh, that's cool. So there, there are some videos out there with that, so I'm really excited to see that. So most of the houses that were there last year are actually returning again this year, which is really exciting because last year we really didn't take a lot of advantage mm -hmm. of the houses. We were kind of still new to the whole, uh, you know, Halloween haunted house stuff. Um, so we're really excited to get really into it this year. Um, but they are bringing a new house this year. It's called Twisted. It's featuring a new celebrity of horror called Mr. Tangled. Yeah, which I'm not sure if that's for the entire park because I know last, the last two years they've had Dr. Diabolical. Yeah. So, and... But she did. Yeah. I, I would have thought she would have made an appearance today. Yeah, if same. she had been involved in that, but she wasn't there. So maybe Mr. Tangled is like the new, you know, Dr. Diabolical. So. Or, or the new face for Fright, uh, Fright Night at DS in Texas. Yeah. So most of the scare zones are returning. They are having a new one um, in the boardwalk area. It's called Carnival Terror, um, which I know they used to have the, what was it, Carn Evil 3D? Yeah. Um, there. That was the house last year. Yeah, which I believe that's where the Twisted House would probably be this year. Probably. Yeah. Because he was like kind of a clown looking. Yeah. So I could see that kind of fitting in with the whole Carnival Terror boardwalk area. He said the whole boardwalk is going to be a scare zone, so mm -hmm. that's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Just the last thing for Friday Night, they are also still going to have the uh, Monster Bash. This time I think it's called the Bloodletting. So that's all the information they kind of gave on that. A lot of it is stuff we kind of figured was happening and a lot of it is brand new stuff. So we're just really excited to get into it and to go multiple times this year. This year for Holiday in the Park, they're bringing a new musical, Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. So I'm really excited to see it. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, did they have a musical last year? They probably um, did, but we just didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like we missed a lot out on FDS to Texas. <laughs> yeah, we were really focused on SeaWorld last year, I feel like. It was great. I mean, we went to Hollow Scream a few times. Well, and how, we went yeah. to the, the Christmas celebration a few times. Um, but I think we only did six months, maybe once. I'm kind of disappointed in ourselves. <laughs> so all this to say, we are going to be taking full advantage this year of everything that Six Flags has to offer. And the last thing that they mentioned before kind of the big announcements was that they are uh, going to be bringing back the 360 fireworks show for New Year's. Um, we went there last year. It was really great. Um, we look forward to possibly going there again this year. We don't, we're not sure about our plans yet. But they are also bringing back something that I believe they've done in the past. It's for Unfortunately, Diamond members only because we are Platinum. <laughs> we tried to upgrade after we got Platinum. Um, for some reason, there were some issues. So they're bringing back the Diamond Pass New Year's Eve party. So everyone with the Diamond Pass, hopefully you have fun. We wish we could be there. All right, so now for the big announcements. They're over the course of, I don't know how many weeks they've been putting out these clues, <sighs> but there are 63 clues <laughs> on Six Flags Instagram account hinting at all the different possibilities of what these announcements could be. I checked out probably after clue number 10. <laughs> I was like, I checked out, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. I still checked out every clue or checked on every clue, 
But um, it was one of those things like, yeah, I'm not going to try and try and solve this. Yeah. Mm -mm. But it was fun today to be there for the announcement. So a lot is happening. They're going to be retheming a bunch of rides to be the DC themed, you know, named after a bunch of different uh, superheroes. And so with the transformation of the kid zone, they're bringing a couple new rides. One of them is called Cyborg, Cyber Revolution or something like that. Um, it looks really fun and actually it kind of reminds me, based on the sketches, it reminds me a little Daredevil dive where it might lift you up or it might like spin, has like an arm that takes you up and spins you around or something yeah. like that. All right, and then um, another ride, which is kind of a, I'm not sure if I would define it as a drop tower, but it is a tower. It's themed after Shazam. It's called Shazam Tower of Eternity. Like I said, it's a tower and it's about 70 feet tall. From what Jeffrey said, it takes you up there multiple times and I believe he like drops you and then you do some bouncing. Okay. And then... <laughs> like you probably shoot up and then bounce down. Yeah. Like that. But, and then also like around the tower, the seats kind of rotate, so. And then the one I'm really excited about is kind of like a monorail system that's gonna go around like the whole DC area. It's gonna be called the Metropolis Transit Authority. It's, he said it's gonna be like a five minute ride. So it's gonna just possibly just be like a, a slow leisurely ride around the whole area, um, which sounds just amazing when you've been on your feet all day and you just want to sit and chill for a while. Kind of reminds me of the People Movers ride in Disney World, so um, we'll yeah. see. But I don't know, you know, we don't know the speed and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting to see, but it's gonna be elevated about 20 feet high. So you'll get a, a really nice aerial view of the area. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Lots of changes gonna be happening this year and this coming year. So um, we're just thrilled to be here for it. For the DC area, I believe what Jeffrey said was that after the new additions, it will be uh, out of all the Six Flags parks, the biggest DC area in any park. So we're really excited about that. Part of it is because we go to um, Universal in Orlando a lot and they have like at Islands of Adventure, they have a huge Marvel area. And each time I see that at night, it's just glowing and it's, oh, it's so fun. So I'm not sure if they'll be able to put pull anything exactly like that off. They'll have to basically, they will have to add a lot of more theming, just like, as well as like set design. But if they can get something close to that, I'm so excited. And, um, you know, just see, <laughs> full immersion. Just seems that DS of Texas is definitely trying to improve and be like a, one of the Six Flags main, uh, one of the main Six Flags parks to come and visit. It's becoming a true destination park. Yeah. But that's everything for the park updates for this year and next year. Uh, we hope you found it informative <laughs> and entertaining. We are really excited to see how this all unfolds oh. and to watch the progress of all the construction happening at the park. It's already begun. So it's just exciting to um, be a part of it. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, until next time. Until next time. Uh, Weasley says bye. Ha <laughs>